SOLIDWORKS 2010 introduces a lot of new tools that really enhance just their overall depth of functionality. We're going to take a look at how different hole types are affected here. Let's start with a cosmetic thread. In the past, to create a cosmetic thread on something like a shaft or a large hole, you would typically have to do this in the three-dimensional model. You'll notice I can simply select an edge right from the drawing now and start generating a cosmetic thread. But it goes much deeper than that. You'll notice that the Cosmetic Thread tool now supports hole standards. What this means is, is we can create actual holes that are generated by standards. Let's go ahead and create this. And you'll notice it's much more than just an annotation. Here we see the Cosmetic Thread in the top view, but notice it's in the section view as well. Well, how is this done? Let's take a look at the actual part file. You'll notice that SOLIDWORKS applies the Cosmetic Thread to the appropriate feature right at the three-dimensional model. This means that you can create cosmetic threads where it fe feels natural. Maybe that's the drawing or maybe it's the part. The whole wizard has also had, it, had a lot of functionality added into it. Let's start by looking at a new type of standard that's being supported. Australian standard is now supported within the whole wizard. As we go to position holes in the past, this was typically a challenging area. Users had to know up front whether they, or not they needed to pre-select the face or not, and this affected the type of sketch that was created. Notice new in SOLIDWORKS 2010, as I go ahead and start placing holes on a planar face, SOLIDWORKS automatically starts generating a two-dimensional sketch for this. This is really great for new users who don't under necessarily understand the difference between a 2D and a 3D sketch. Let's take one more look at that. This time as I go to create a tapped hole, we'll notice that SOLIDWORKS also supports straight pipe taps now in SOLIDWORKS 2010. And as we go to position these and we select a non-planar surface, you'll notice that SOLIDWORKS is intelligent and automatically creates a three-dimensional sketch. So SOLIDWORKS is creating the appropriate sketch and not burdening the user with having to understand which sketch type is necessary. This makes it extremely easy for new users to get up running quicker than ever before.